Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Before I go too far into this video, I just want to stop and take a moment and thank everybody who clicked on my last video that basically said, surprise, I do YouTube. So for those of you guys that didn't know, now you guys know. If it's kind of like a sense of relief to put myself out there like that now that it's out there. Um, but yeah, I had a lot of people um, just give me some really positive comments and feedbacks. And I also, not just from... Um, family members and friends but like other youtubers which felt really good so thank you guys so much and if you are new to my channel um, make sure you subscribe so you can um, get updates and stuff like that and videos um, as they come out also um, if you are new like comment down below let me know a little bit about you or how you found out about me if you know me already or if you just kind of stumbled across that'd be awesome to know um, but Anyways, I feel really grateful for all the support that I'm getting. Um, it was definitely nerve-wracking to put myself out there, and now it's out there. So it's kind of like, <sighs> I can breathe. I mean, some people may not understand what I'm doing, and that's totally fine. Um, but I know what I'm doing, and I know what my goal is. My husband knows what I'm doing. He knows what the goal is. So anyways, thank you so much again, and we are going to get into it. So I am posting a... Living room, formal living room and dining room tour. So I'm sitting in that room currently right now. So just before we get into that video, I kind of wanted to let you know. So we bought this house like two and a half, almost three years ago now, maybe. And so we, um, the furniture that we had in our old house wasn't gonna fit in this house. So we got rid of a lot of furniture. Um, some things we kept. Um, the living room, that's the family living room, which isn't the video that I'm showing right now um, it has newer furniture and kind of the newer scheme that I'm going towards um, this is our oh my daughter's waking up hi mamas this is our formal um, area it kind of it's kind of like a collection of things and so um, some of the stuff is is new like the sofa is new the recliners are, are kind of new but not so new um, but everything else is either things that I've gotten either on sale or I've gotten their family, um, they've been passed down from family members, like, I guess like their antiques and stuff. Um, so it's just kind of figuring out how to mix the old and the new and making it all mesh together. I don't know if that makes sense. I'm definitely not a decorator, like that's not like my thing, but I do like to take old things and give them new purpose give them new life as you will see I have some things that were just getting thrown out in the trash and I refurnished them and made them look like new so I will also be posting um, in the next week or two a tour of our master bedroom um, I'm doing them in little little spurts just because I don't want to overwhelm I feel like sometimes I can ramble for a little bit so I don't want to overwhelm you guys and have like a 20 30 minute video and um, so I think it, it makes more sense to break it up also we, um, I feel like this is common for everybody. You're posting this and you feel like your house isn't where you want it to be. And it's always going to be kind of growing and always going to be kind of changing. And, um, I decided, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and do this so that I can look back as we make these changes and say, oh, this is what we did and this, oh, this worked really good. And just kind of see how far our house has come or things have changed. So we have a couple projects that we have in mind and I was going to wait to film, but I thought, well, let's do this because we don't know exactly when that timeline is for that other project that we're going to do. So let's just do this and, and that way we can see um, the difference. So anyways, I hope that you guys enjoy this video, and um, I will see you guys later. Alright guys, welcome to my house tour. This is the front of our house, and we're just about to walk into the door. Alright, so immediately when you walk through the front door, we have these steps. Yes, there is a towel on the step. Um, usually we'll stick something on the step that needs to get put away. It just hasn't been put, gotten put away yet. And here's an overview of the living room, what it looks like when you first walk in. Um, that light is from Target. <laughs> uh, I love the floors in here. I love them. My favorite thing about this room is this big window and it lets in so much light. It's very relaxing. So this next area, I don't really know what to do with it. It has my grandmother's old sewing machine and it's just kind of mm, working on it. 
Um, here's a picture frame that I got from Kirkland's, I think it's called, um, a couple years ago. And the sofa is from Gallery Furniture. Um, I have these two little coffee tables. I love them. They're like mid-century modern. Um, I just keep the library books that we checked out at the time. And then um, there's a little map and a globe. These two chairs are from Gallery Furniture. Renee actually picked those out. That little table in between the chairs is a table that my dad made with some scrap um, leftover granite and some scrap wood that he had on hand. Um, I like to mix a lot of old and new things. Um, this bench right here was something that someone was throwing out and I just did a DIY project, repainted it, redid it, and gave it a new life and purpose. Um, same thing, this is a DIY project. I just had some scrap wood that I nailed together and painted it and distressed it and made this little flower box plant for the top of my table. The table's from Target and the chairs are from Target with the exception of the two back chairs. That is from um, a garage sale. So right now this antique area is a catch-all. We are actually thinking about redoing this area and tearing down part of that wall so it opens up into the kitchen just to give a more open concept feel. That's what it would look like if it was open. I really like that idea of being able to entertain and have that open feel. Um, right over here is this other window that we have. It's very, I love this piece right here. It's an antique window that my mom gave me. I actually have another one. I just don't know where to put it at, but I love it. So that is it. This is just an overview of our formal living and dining area. We definitely are going to be making some joint changes. Um, if you have any ideas of how we can brighten it up, please leave it down in the comments below. I really appreciate you guys stopping by. Please make sure you subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.